dear students welcome to another episode on school on air today i'll be your instructor for basic science today we are going to be talking about family traits at the end of this episode you should be able to number one state what family trade trait is number two give examples of family traits number three Explain the difference between dominant traits and recessive traits. Number four, explain the importances of family traits. So, what is family traits? Have you, have you noticed that children usually resemble their parents and siblings resemble one another? This is because there are certain characteristics that run in families which are transferred from parents to their offspring. These characteristics are called family traits. In this topic, you learn about family traits. So, family traits is anything or any character or characteristics that can be transferred from the parents to the offspring. So, any um, resemblance that you see between you and your siblings, you and your parents, can be referred to as family traits. So the characteristics that connect you and your sister, for example, you and your brother, you and your parents, your mom or your dad together is called family traits. So let's go into the meaning of family traits. Family traits, the transmittable characters which are passed from one generation to the other generation that is from parent to their offspring are called family traits. So the transmittable characteristics which are passed from the parent to the offspring, that is whether it is um, the shape of your nose, if you have the same shape of your nose, that characteristic was transferred or transmitted from your parent to you. So the characteristics that are transferred from the parents of living things to the offspring is called family traits. So these traits include, examples include skin color, height, shape of head, hairs, nose, and mouth, albinism. So the skin color, for example, if your dad is dark in complexion and your mom is light in complexion, you can be dark because the characteristic from your dad was transmitted or the transmitted character of being dark in complexion was transferred to you that's the example of skin co skin color another example is height if your mom is very tall and your dad is also very tall you will be tall because the transmittable characteristic of you being tall was transferred from your parents to you or otherwise if your parents are short for example so another family trait example is the shape of head if the shape of your um, mom is over, for example, any shape of head, it can be transmitted from the parents, that is from the parent to you. So you can have a similar shape of head. So these traits, this example of traits is called family traits, or these characteristics, as we said, the transmissible characteristics are called transmittable characteristics are called family traits. So another um, shape or, or is the shape of the heirs. If you have a very large heir from your parents, you can inherit it or nose or mouth. Albinism also, if your parents or your grandparents or your relative are, are albinos, you can inherit the transmittable characteristic of being and albino so albinism is also a family trait so i will want to give you an um, activity to do which is observe some trans traits or transmissive transmittable characteristics that are common to you your father and your grandfather if your father is not alive use his picture so if you notice for example i noticed that my dad and i we have the same shape of nose so the transmittable character from, um, from my grandpa to 